First of all, what color is Jesus the Christ? White. He white? Okay, so when you were, okay, you say he white, so and what if I prove it to you out the Bible that he's a black man? You gonna believe it? I don't know. You don't know? Give me Revelations 1 and 1. Because for too long our people have been running around saying that Jesus Christ is a white man. You how old are you? Uh, 18 by 19. You, so you 18 years old, and that's that's the let that's that's for to let us know that that lie is still perpetuated in the earth. That's right. Because you only 18, you still a youth. And guess where you get that from? Out your grandmother's house, out your mother's house. Ain't that where you see the images at? Yeah. Lies. Bald faced lies. That's right. Because Jesus Christ is not a white man. Nowhere in the Bible can you find Jesus Christ being a Caucasian man. Right. Anybody anybody think anything different, step forth right now. Read. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1. In verse 1, you know, the revelation of Jesus Christ. So if anybody know anything about the Bible or anything about words, the English language, the root word of revelation is revealed. When you reveal something, you unfold and you let it be known. Because why? It's hidden in the earth. So read. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he said, and signified it by his angel. So this is the book of Revelation. John the Revelator is going to reveal the image of Jesus Christ. What was your name again, bro? Kyle. Kyle, you with me? Yes. Listen good. Read. Jump, Jump to verse 10. Verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. So who was this speaking, uh, Kyle? Uh, who? Oh, who was this speaking in the book? Read it again from the top. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Read verse 1 again. Verse 1. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. So who is this writing? John is writing it, right? Yeah. Okay. So read now. Verse, jump to verse 10. What is he revealing? What is John revealing? Uh, okay. Go to verse 1 again. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So what is John revealing? Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is what? How he looked. He's, he's going to reveal to you how Jesus Christ looked. Because when you walked up, you said that Jesus Christ was a Caucasian or a white man, correct? Yes. So John going to reveal to you how he looked. If he's Caucasian, look over there. Look at those images right there. You got uh, the guy who you may know as Jesus Christ, which is a Caucasian man. But it really says your boy Jill. Then you got the black Messiah on the uh, left. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna do what we're gonna do. I want you to line up as we read the Bible. I want you to line up. What is the true image that you see before you? Okay. Are you with me? Yes. Cal. Yes. All right. Listen good. Verse ten. Verse ten. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day, and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. So Cal, if you hear something loud, a great voice behind you right now, what you gonna do? Stand up. You gonna stay there? You gonna turn around and look and see? Turn around, and look and see what the hell? Is, what, what is that? Read. Verse fourteen. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Read it again from verse ten. Verse ten. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day, and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet, saying, "I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last." So who is the first and the last in the Alpha, the Alpha and Omega? This is Jesus Christ. We reveal it now in the book of Revelation, chapter 1. Read. And when thou seest, write it in a book. So, yes, he seen Jesus Christ with his eyes. Because it's a, it's a lie on the earth to say nobody seen Jesus Christ. Right, right. Why? So you can perpetuate the lie that's been taught for centuries. The so Caucasian man, which is said your boy Jim. Read. The first and the last. And what thou seest. And what you see with your eyes, John. Read in a book. Record it in a book. Read. And send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So we are describing the color of Jesus Christ. It said his head and his hairs were white like wool. Cal, are you with me? Yeah. So wool is the texture. And white is the color. You, you understand that? Yeah. We're reading about Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. That's right. Read. His head 
and his hands were white like wool, as white as snow. So the Jesus Christ's hair was white and woolly, as white as snow. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So Jesus Christ's eyes were as a flame of fire. Why? Give me, give me the precept. 49 and 12, Genesis. Listen to the word of God. You believe in God? No? Read. This is Genesis chapter 49 and verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine and his teeth white with milk. So Jesus Christ's eyes was red because he drunk wine in moderation. This is Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hands were one like wool as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet. And his what? His feet. And his what? His feet. The skin of Jesus Christ's feet, which matched the rest of his body, three. Like unto fine brass. Like unto what? Fine brass. What's the color of brass? Brass is a derivative of brass. That's right. Brass. So Jesus Christ's feet looked like brass. How, how dark was they though? Read. As if they burned in a furnace. As if you took brass and burnt it in a furnace. That was the color of Jesus Christ. Out of what? Our mouth? No. Out of the Holy Bible. Out of God's words. So let's stop it with the lies in your Christian church. Let's stop it with the lies and tell your mother and the grandma to stop the lies as well. Sister, you got any questions of what we bringing out? Oh, no, sir. I'm good. You good? Okay, all praises. So you, did you know you're an Israelite? I'm going to study it now. You want, okay, so you just so you just heard the information. Uh-huh. Okay, all right. And I'm going to teach my grandkids. You're going you gonna to teach your uh, grandkids? Okay, give me Titus chapter 2. You read the Bible? Every now and then. Do you believe in what you read? I believe that it was a man named Jesus who died by a and he rose again. But I also believe they all black like him. Right. So when you say he died for all sins, whose sins did he die for? I'm who is all? Who I'm saying we say all? Oh, black people? Yeah, the chosen people. The chosen people, you? Okay, that's, I would like to keep going. Let's, let, let's stay here for one second. I got a few scriptures I want to read you. You made a statement, and that would be a profound statement if you were to make that in the Christian church. Or well, it is a profound statement, in fact, but the Christian, but the Christian church, but the Christian church don't teach that. The church is just set up today. They don't teach that. They teach. They teach. You know what they teach? John three sixteen. They was. They learn and they would Right. And they and, it, and it's a perpetuated thing because it came from a slave master. Right. And we weren't able to read for over a hundred years when we was in slave. But now we can read. And guess what? When we read, we pick it up. We read this. This is the book of Matthew, chapter fifteen. In verse 24, but he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. What that means? So what's your name again? Ingrid? Ingrid. Okay. Uh, so what that means? You want to read it again? All right, read it again. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Because a lot of times on the earth today, they say Christ came and died for everybody. But right here, Jesus Christ is telling me he only came for the nation of Israel. The lost sheep of the house of Israel. Why is this, the sheep of Israel lost? Because they don't know their nationality today. They still lost. Because you ask 80% of the people walking up and down these streets and driving their cars, you ask their nationality, that, that's your, uh, your descent, they'll say they're African American. Good. See, or they'll say Black American, but it's 18 nations in the Bible God created. Which, where can you find Black American at, out of the 18 that God created? Good. At the beginning, what book and chapter? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so, actually, it's not in there. It's not in there. Black American. Right. Yeah, they black, but they not black Americans. Right, because America just, uh, America just became what, the United States, and when was that? After, uh, 1776. 1776, with, uh, Paul Revere, uh, and the rest of them guys, those Caucasian guys, and the British was coming, and all of that, you in that history, right? So that's when they became the United States and formed together. 
Oh, okay. That's cool. But we gonna we, we actually we actually a, 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 a history scholar over here, and we gonna teach it to you. All right. So. Okay, that's good. So remember, the initial uh, question was that why was the law sheet the House of Israel lost? And I said that uh, that most of our people call themselves African Americans or Black Americans today. But they they not those names are not in the Bible. Not the eighteen nations, God, you come from the sea land of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Bring and the up. blessings of God are for you. That's why Christ only came for your people. You understand that? Read uh did you read it again? But he answered and said, I am not sent. He, is, he didn't come for read. But only until the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So Jesus Christ only came to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Now give me right. Revelation chapter 21. This is the book of Revelation chapter 21 and verse 12. Read it out. And had a war, great and high. So. This is John and Revelator describing the kingdom of heaven. Everybody want to get to the kingdom of heaven, but nobody's doing the work it takes, okay? But now John is describing what he sees, the kingdom of heaven. Read. He said it was a wall, great and high. Read. It had 12 gates. And it had 12 gates, the kingdom of heaven. Read. And at the gates, 12 angels. So each gate got an angel guarded. Read. And names written thereon. They got names on these gates for who to go into. Read. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of Israel. So if you ain't from the nation of Israel, you think you're getting through those gates? You're not. That's cool. It's all good, sister. It's all good. But what we want you to do is have a good understanding of who the kingdom of heaven is for. Right. Because it's for you. That's right. Okay? It's not for everybody, contrary to the popular belief. Bring it out. It's not for every nation that God created. Right. The kingdom of heaven is only for you and your descendants of your people. Read. On the east, three gates. And on the north, three gates. On the south, three gates. And on the west, three gates. Verse 14. So it was just telling you the gate where how it was, north, east, south, west. 3, 6, 9, 12. That's to substantiate the only nation from the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.